Okay, you want to get it? Today I'm going to show another war we've had Ninja Assassins. So sad, we lost the war. This was one overmatch too much to go over. I see 8 tower 10s on their side, including 2 tower 11s. And then we won 11 and 2 tennis was. As you see, on known to tower 9. So, even though we lost, we still got some great raids. Let's go into the replays. This one's by Andy on number 9. He uses a um, chassis go ho with a hero trick for the lava hound so that it's actually like the raid. He's one giant and four hosts to war the contact with him. The giant is too flat to be sent so they do not walk onto the hole and the hole survives and much longer. The hole is also shift two trees, which is actually really helpful. Sorry, I'm getting very down, sorry. So now we've got his two archers on the same spot to his healer. This is done so that the other hand doesn't do, 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 do enough da damage to kill an archer. Therefore the healer's healer is always healing the uh, archers. And therefore the hound is stuck there forever and it won't ever be in use. Therefore CC is 100% negated. So he puts his golems in his bread and wizards behind him to make a funnel. He rose in with a jump and a rage just to get a big chunk out of the kill squad. As you see, he put a double giant bomb there, which is great because now it's gone with the kill squad. Starts putting his hulk down surgically. The reason he does this is because this is AM um, Queen of Attack, so he knows that there are there's a giant bomb there. A double one. So now he knows that's clear, he can put down the rest of his hogs. Heal through that second bomb that he tripped. And then, as you see, he hasn't got much of the base left, about 15 holes to have and a heal spell to get through that. And he has two poison spells to get through the skeleton back. So this is all down but the crying. He has a full health queen and a, and a king alive. As you see, the rage has done a lot for this raid, which is why it is often helpful to bring a rage spell with your kill squad and a go ho. So as you see, Andy, obviously a beast, and he's vector base as usual. Speed this up through. Oh, the hound pop. Well, it doesn't matter. Now he's killed all the hounds. MLG shot with his poison spell. Let's get on to the next replay, which will be by um, Tut versus number 12. This is a more anti free star style base, which means that they will need much more deep plan. So, earthquakes. The wall, so he has. A massive amount of open base once he wall breaks into that corner. Puts his two go golems down and he uses wizards to funnel. Once again, it's the same thing to enter your kill squad. Puts his queen down first and a witch generates some skeleton. He doesn't put his king down yet as he has not ruled out the CC and therefore he wants to CC skeleton golems. Perfect king time as it allows the golems just about to get ahead and distract the queen, which is exactly what you want. As you see, he's tripped the giant bomb there, so his kill squad's done a good job. Rages his king, uses a rage spell. He only has two heal spells, but his kill squad does a lot of work. As you see, he gets down Tesla as well, which is high damage. And I think I see a little Tesla, like, dead thing too, so... So he's got three Teslas and two giant bombs for his kill squad. And by then, that is... As long as you hog the point of squad, it's all over. I think that any possible door down bomb spot now is negated. And therefore, the troops can easily get through the base. And he brings back end balloons to get the defences that are not covered by air defences, which is a really smart idea, and for something I would not have thought of by throwing in the chat. And as you see, once again, he comes out of a live golem, a witch, and a queen with full health and an ability available. It shows that a rage, in some occasions, can be really useful. I know I've showed it in both raids, but it isn't always effective to use a rage spell. So, this is, as you can see, Tower 9 based recap. He uses his ability just for a bit of swag, and it's over. Let's watch this tackle on um, 13 from Dylan. 
this is a really poor base design because you can get the queen and the air defend really easy with just a one go on kill squad which leaves you four hounds and 17 balloons plenty enough to get through the entire base rest of the base that's the kill squad they can get especially with an added raid a jump with the kill squad I was going to say an added raid but then I forgot he's only using cold blood and so the raid would be ineffective the hounds the queen Decimates the hound, and as you see, his hound appointment was so perfect. If, if you saw, I know I was bed up too quickly there, but if you saw, the hound's got covered every single defensive building in the base, and therefore, look at the massive amount of balloons that he still has alive. And a rage bell, he absolutely destroys the space with a simple attack. Often, complicated isn't the best, simple as let's finish off this replay. And he has no more of the hounds on pop, which means that he's um, got the most clean up he can have. And just, just look at the one of balloons there. This is over. Took the pups. Up bed all around the base perfectly. Finish off the base in quick fashion. And a swag rage bell he didn't drop because I guess he's saving his elixir or something. Just got to keep a few more replays. This one is just a show of amazing balloon deployment. And this was the attack that gave us hoping war that almost saved us. However, I didn't quite because my base fell. Oh, I cry. Yeah, Town 10 bullied me. And that was what finished the war off. Anyway, so he's got a nice bed of with loads of buildings getting down. And see, by his bed of his golem, it distracts every building at the side of the base. Therefore, the wizards can clear much more. He gets his heroes in with a perfect jump spell that gets into so many compartments. He even picks the corner of that one. However, his heroes were a bit stupid there, especially his king. I started walking left away from what the kill squad wanted. He puts a hero on a rage down to them. Um, help keep the wizards and the golems alive and poisons the um, while the pups once the hound pops. These guys, they made it obvious all the hounds in the CC because all the hounds in every single one. As you see, this looks a little bit bleak because he's got quite a big kill squad and hasn't got too much out of it. However, in a minute you'll just see amazing balloon and spell deployment that will just destroy your space evil with it, even with dumb heroes. He puts his hands in two different places to soak up more traps and targets every single defence in the area with balloons. It with perfect time and that you'll go down at the same time. He puts a hand on the second air defence which is already in effect. So therefore that it doesn't hit the balloons that are going around the base. One tip I I think that would have been improved is to bring one, save one balloon behind to distract the two wizard towers. However, he's still three star with ease, even without that little thing. Anyway, just take what I say, have a pinch of salt. This is a great attack, and that's all that matters. As you see, that balloon gets that one wizard tower down. Double wizard towers are dangerous, but a single wizard tower on a full health balloon cannot take it down, and therefore, the base falls. And with plenty of wild pups once again because he managed to pop all of his house, which is an important tip with Go Arun. Final attack I'm going to show is um, going to be Tower Ace Attack, Go Ho, My Little Tuss, which, if you haven't deciphered yet, it's Tuss, Little Gal. Yeah, I'm so clever, Mr. Einstein, right here commentating over the videos. I think he's upgrading his spell factory there to get earthquakes, therefore he doesn't have a second poison. This is no matter though, as he can still roll out CC and kill it with barbs of the strack and wizards to take it out. And a king to the strack, which is helpful as well. And a CC 212 to kill it. He puts, his, uh, he puts a golem down to the strack all the uh, defenses in the area, which there aren't many of. On this base, it's an internet base, so almost 99% of the time on this base, a little tip is the double giant bomb is right there. The wall break is actually restrained and don't get into the core. However, he's got far enough in, now he can take 
the air defence is out and neutralises all the time from Fox. The King also goes down, which is a big house flat. If a member of the replay is correct, so I'm not sure I do, and some dub. Even though he doesn't take the air defence down, he deploys his hog perfectly, so they just don't, do not pass over it, except one hog, which is fifth door giant Bob. Rest in peace, hog. Now we, now we have three heal spells with hogs, and as you see, by now, there is only a couple of defensive black, therefore the base is over, as he has a big wad of hogs. This time, Blood Dry Bomb was there, and he manages to single trip it, therefore his hogs survive through this, and he gets a three star. This is a good time on race show with Goho. At speed this up, to the end of this replay, it's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, and for one last word, Peace.